Right about now, let me introduce the freshest dad in comedy. Show you love for our very own man, Joro from Kembu. Yeah. All right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Oh uh yeah, -huh. Sudas. Sudas. Go ahead. What was the idea? Inaisha hivyo. Inaisha hivyo. Asante sana. Asante. Joro is a fresh dad. Mpigeni makofi anaitwa Baba Natasha. Yeah. <laughs> Mara ya kwanza, do you remember when you came for the show? Yes, I remember. Yeah. Nilikuwa napiga Muhammad Ali. Uh -huh. Yeah. Ulikuwa unasema I remember the first show. Unajua Muhammad Ali had done all the stories. Yes. Kuna story moja ya kutufanyia pombe ya Kiambu. Uh -huh. Kwa sababu Najua alikuwa anakuanga mse practical. Uh -huh. Anaenda mpaka katikati ya vita, unaona anatrokea risasi. Uh -huh. So angekuwa practical na pombe. Kuja seme, mtazamaji nimesimama mbele yako kidete kukuletea mambo kuhusu pombe hii haramu ya Kiambu na narudia haramu ya Kiambu. Mtazamaji ili kukuletea habari za kina. Itabidi nipige kopo la pombe hii. We, 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 we. Akia nani nikakali kuruka. <laughs> ah, lakini mtazamaji ni kazi yangu. Siogopi maini yangu kukato kato na hii pombe. Kwa hivyo itabidi nitandike kaingine. Madhe. Madhe. Madhe kwa mara ya tatu naita madhe. Niongeze kambao. Akia nani kameshika kamebamba? Mtazamaji nakumbuka nikianza kipindi nilikuambia ni pombe haramu. Haramu ni wewe. <laughs> And you are saying, you are saying, haezi kuwa muizi. Haezi kuwa muizi. Muizi natakanga agency. Muizi ni kajaka. Yes. Natakanga agency. Unengi nwambia, pa, kila mtu chini. Kila mtu, kila mtu chini. Muamedali haezi kuwa muizi. Jiwa taanza report. Dereva, ninge omba upunguze sauti ya radio. Inapunguzwa. Ndugu zangu waliesimama hapa sinyanya enyu. Ama ndugu yenyu, mimi ni jambazi sugu. Mkononi ni kona... Is the reason why you have it more hard? Sasa siyu ni yase mweshimiwa. Mtumishi. Mtumishi. Ha, karibu sana. Show your love for mweshimi wa mtumishi. Mohamed Ali. Something I've always wanted to ask you. Even you naongeaka kwa nyumba. Mke wangu wapi nyama. Iyo. Iyo ni sauti ya mshahara. Iyo ni sauti ya mshahara. Congratulations bro. Thanks. Hey, ilikuwa aje race ban? Politics, it is a different ball game. And being the son of a peasant, it was a little bit difficult for me. Despite having a name and trying to convince people of why it is important for us to fix this country. But I was fighting the who is who in Mombasa. Wajo ulipo sema hivyo kwanza niluza. Kwani unawazimu ni nini bana? Unaacha kuripoti. How many people discouraged you? When you said, unataka kuwa politician. Nakumbuka ni kitumua jumbe katika. So katika Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you could hear people saying that we unadhani siyasa ni jichopevu. But I wanted to challenge and say that let me do it. Whether I win or fail, I have nothing to lose. But I've tried. As a young man in this country, I've tried. Yeah. Nini haswa ili changia wewe kusema sasa mimi nimechoka mambo ya media nataka kuingia kwenye siyasa. Nini ilikupa msukumo? 
kwa zaidi ya mwongo mmoja nikiwa mwanahabari bado mimi ni mwanahabari by the way you will be seeing jichopevu so msiwe na wasiwasi kwanza kabisa hebu turejee kidogo hapa kwa jichopevu which is the one story ulifanya ukahisi hapa umegonga ndipo ama ikakuletea shida eh? zote ni za kuhofia siwezi mm. sema all the jichopevus have been to me ni zote ni mzuri na ni sawa lakini i think the one that we did and i was a little bit annoyed uh, with the way the system is operating ilikuwa ni paruanja la mihadarati it was dangerous and we had to leave the country uh, tulienda tukajificha norway oslo uh, tulikaa huko sana baridi litulemea ikabidi turudi why, why you born this uh, uh, courageous because pia mimi utaka kufanya story <laughs> lakini nakaa hivi nikisema Ebungocha kidogo. Na yet ni kuna story. Why you always like this? By the way I wanted to be a police officer or a military guy. But uh, kila mara naambo nikimbie stadium wanakuambia will take the first 25. Nina kimbia the last time I came number 16. Na rusimama hapo mbele naambua sina kifua. <laughs> so nilikuwa nataka sana kufanya investigations because I I wanted to serve my country and uh, I wanted to be a good cop. So ya polisi ilikata I think I went two three times nikajaribu ya GSU ikakata so I stayed nikaandika applications forms I remember I had like 20 to 21 applications forms so nilikuwa naenda niki drop CVs to every media house so all of a sudden one day I received a call so the guy called me and told him uh, my name is so and so I said wrong number he called again my name is so and so from Radio Salam I say yes sir nilitema yote yes sir akaniambia tunataka kukuandika kazi can you come to our offices ilikuwa Mombasa take it take hata sikusema niko Nairobi so i took over started we started working with the guys like Ali Manzu so tukaanza after some few uh, after close to a year kulikuwa na hii mchezo wa IWF Mombasa and uh, the KTN crew came to Mombasa everybody was running to Mombasa kukuja kuangalia hiyo game it was the first one in uh, i think in, in Mombasa 35th edition i still remember it watu walikuja and uh, there is these guys walikuwa nasikiza kwa radio uh, watangazaji wa Mombasa and that day i was with Ali Manzu we were hosting together so, uh, kipindi ya investigations inaitwa sauti ya mpwani then uh, this guy akatusikiza kwa radio kwenda upanga all of a sudden ikasemekana alisema get me the two boys so simu ikapigwa tuko studio uh, so akapiga simu akasema hello this is katua nzile nikamwambia boss mimi sijui katua nzile ni nani bwana wrong number nikakata akapiga tena this is katua nzile kaambia mimi wrong number bwana mimi mimi na nzile wapi na wapi bwana nikakata ya mwisho akapiga akasema chief at least just listen to me one minute only Ah nikasema sema bana. My name is Katua Nzile, managing editor Kenya Television Network. Boss nilisimama haraka sana. Haraka <laughs> tena sana. Sana. Na nikaanza kusema yes sir utadhani tuko police station. <laughs> Na hivyo ndio safari ilianza. And let me tell you Mohammed we celebrate you. Those stories is all investigative. We remember you for the rest of our life. Sasa njo, sasa uzuri njo tutembee. Uje uzuri wa watu wa Mombasa uwezi wa interrupt. Hadithi ni tamu. Now now yeah now you are a fresh mp kuko vipi kule bungeni wamekuwakaribisha vipi how is it it's not bad but i have a problem uh, of timekeeping uh, ukitoka from a professional area in politics if we agree to meet at 8 in the morning they will come at 12 so kidogo iliko inani affect the first week <laughs> so what's the new thing you're bringing uh, in this new uh, parliament uh, first of all I want to debate, to debate in Swahili in parliament because uh, I want people to understand. I want Mama Mboga to understand. Na acha ngwambie napenda kwanza vile unatiburukwa na Kiswahili. So mimi nikiingia katika bunge hili la 12 nita nitaanzisha mjadala kwa lugha ya Kiswahili na natumai mumeona mabadiliko asilimia kubwa ya wabunge wameanza kuzungumza Kiswahili. La pili na muhimu zaidi nilipokuwa nikiomba kura nilikuwa naambia wananchi pelekeni jichopevu ndani ya bunge. Kwa hivyo mimi nitakuwa yule yule jichopevu ndani ya bunge. Nitakuwa mbunge asiyekuwa na mipaka. Hongera sana. That's the fresh leadership we are looking for Moha. Hongera sana.